Hi there, Lloyd Macedo, speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. Who is Lloyd Macedo and think personal branding? I got this question, which seems to be uh, always asked, so I thought I'd explicitly answer it. What is the difference between life in Dubai versus life in Thailand? Okay, let's quickly move on. Um, the first one is the expenses, okay? Now, for example, in Dubai, I used to pay like, say, 50,000 dirhams. Uh, I'm just giving a rough figure. Okay, it was 40, 45, okay, for a single bedroom uh, apartment. Here I pay 10,000 uh, dirhams for a private villa, okay, with a big, huge, massive space. I think two bedrooms, yeah. Um, the food in Dubai, good food. I'm talking about good food per day was 200, uh, not luxury stuff. Normal good food, 200 dirhams a day. Here I'm pretty happy with the freshest food for 30 dirhams a day. And you're talking of ultra fresh, okay. Electricity per month uh, there in Dubai was 1,000 dirhams a month. Here it is 100 dirhams a month. Uh, water, 70 dirhams there. Here it's free. Telephone was 2,000 dirhams a month because I have to make a lot of calls here. It's for free because, uh, you know, contacting all my customers online. Internet was 1,000 dirhams there per month. Here it's free. So when you calculate, let's say, 200 dirhams, uh, you know, uh, uh, say 6,000 dirhams uh, food, 1,000 dirhams electricity, 2,000 uh, telephone, let's say 10,000 dirhams a month, okay, roughly 10,000 plus uh, rent is 50,000. So 60,000 just for rent, food and all that. But here what I'm paying is just hardly <coughs> 10,500. So 60, 60,000 versus 10,000. Um, so the first one is expenses. And when I calculate today, I'm roughly paying uh, 40%, 40% for a better life, for better facilities, for better amenities and peace of mind. So the first one is expenses. The second one is income. Uh, there I would tell you is I'm not earning as much as I would earn in Dubai because in Dubai I could meet customers face to face. I could, uh, um, you know, take part in conferences, in events. Um, I could be a branding guy, wear shirt stuff and talk about products. Here, my uh, income is limited to being online. So there, I used to earn more. Here, I earn slightly more or less. Okay, uh, that's the second uh, difference. The third one is the savings. There, if I would earn a thousand, I would spend 980. My savings would be 20. Here, I, if I earn a thousand, my expenses are 400. So my savings are 600. So in Dubai, I would save only 20. Earning more, I would earn uh, save only 20. Here, earning less, I would save 600. So that's much more. I'm just giving a rough example, okay? Uh, number four, the biggest difference is there in Dubai, everything is fast and furious. If you have to go to a place on time, you need to start two hours early to beat the traffic, rush fast. Uh, there's plenty of traffic. Everyone is fast. Getting a parking is difficult. Um, getting to a meeting, you have to rush, rush. Everything is on time. It's, it's pretty fast. Here, everything is like, sabai, sabai, relax. Like, if you're, um, if you have to give your, let's say, even your Honda, I had to give for repair, they would say the battery will come after two weeks, three weeks, there, immediately, everything is fast. So, Dubai life is fast and furious. Here, it's very slow and relaxed. Like, for example, Dubai, everything is 24 hours. Here, it is after seven o'clock, everything shuts down. It's, it's like that. Uh, point number five is the culture. There, it's very Islamic based, uh, even though they show they are modern, okay? Uh, like, for example, there in Dubai, I'm known as Shaitan, the devil, you know, I'm a, uh, stop the law, Allah, uh, when they look at me, they do. In fact, when I've entered into lifts, you know, lift for a building, people have actually walked out of the lift because they thought I was the devil. Here, people consider, oh, cool, you know, they take photographs with me, so... Uh, there, if you're gay or homosexual, you can be jailed. Here, lady boys and gays are walking freely. Now, uh, here you're much more freedom. You can take a beer, drink it on the road. No, you're not disturbing anyone. Nobody gives a damn. So the culture is pretty different. Um, um, here, I'd also like to add one more thing is uh, there, uh, rules are followed to the T and you can get fined. For example, uh, you don't put your seatbelt or you don't put a helmet. Here, people drive. <laughs> they drive without a shirt, without a helmet. Uh, and... Here, the deaths, uh, there are at least two deaths a day, which is also there in Dubai in terms of speeding, but I'm just giving you the perspective. Number six is in Dubai, if you want a visa, I think for a lifetime or something, uh, you have to keep one million dirhams as a deposit. 
Here, if you want an annual visa, you need to have 50,000 uh, dirhams in terms of deposit. So 1 million versus 50,000. Number seven, um, uh, there in Dubai, local guy is always my boss or who has my, uh, under whose visa I'm under. Here, I'm my own boss. So that's another difference. Point number eight is religion. Islam, well, you can't help it. They have a lot of restrictions. You can't speak about it, against it, uh, give your opinion. Uh, and you also need to follow Islamic rules of dress in terms of homosexuality is not allowed. Having a girlfriend is not allowed, even though many people have. Here, the religion is Buddhism. They just let you do what you want as long as you're not hurting and harming anyone. Mind your own business. That's it. Uh, very peaceful here. Uh, point number nine is... A family and future generations see uh, about the religion uh, that doesn't mean everyone who follows Islam is bad but Islam is a very conservative religion so just to get that out okay uh, point number nine is family and future generation uh, there in Dubai there's a big concern as to the children what culture are they exposed to what is their identity that's a massive factor and most of them are exposed to the West but they're trying to live the Eastern culture, so it's a massive confusion. They're trying to be modern, but they're not. Uh, but here, uh, yes, there is a modern lifestyle like that in Bangkok, but in the village, they they work hard. Yes, they do dress up modern and stylish and try to be stylish, but the values of hard work is very, very ingrained in them, and they really work very hard, I'll tell you this. Uh, the women work, uh, the, you know, in Dubai, you'll not see a lady carrying boxes and all that unless she's Chinese. Here you'll see a woman driving a scooter, picking up boxes, uh, taking care of the entire house without a man. They are much more stronger than men over here. So yeah, these are the major differences I found between Thailand and Dubai. Given an uh, option, well, Dubai is flashy, funky, fun, expensive, but it, it's, it's more like you live with that tremendous amount of stress where you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. But here in Thailand, I'm pretty laid back. So if I were to read Dubai, I would say Dubai is, you know, 7 or 8 out of 10 uh, in terms of overall. Okay, 7. I would give it a 7 still. 7, 7.5. Let's be fair. 7.5. Not bad because you can make good money. You can live a good life. But if you're talking about future and stability and security, I would say uh, 2 or 3. That's it. So that's Dubai. But if you're talking of Thailand in terms of happiness, I would say it's 9. Uh, stability, security, all that is 8 or 9. So that's as far as I go. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, agree, disagree. Love to hear from you. Like the video, thumbs up. Don't like it, thumbs down. This is me signing off for now. Take care.